Now this product's a little bit unique in that it is the first of its kind. It's a wireless N 450 megabit per second router. So what that means is that it is twice as fast as the other no, no, it's not twice as fast as anything. It's 50% faster than the other high-speed wireless end devices, and it is three times faster than the basic wireless end devices, which are rated at 150 megabit per second. So let's see what TrendNet has to say for themselves on the box. First of all, this is a GreenNet product, which means that it employs some smart power-saving techniques in order to reduce power consumption. So things like powering off the ports that aren't being used on the switch, for example. It has eye-popping 450 megabit per second wireless speed and coverage, gigabit ethernet ports for high-performance wired connections. You can stream videos, download files, talk online and play games all at the same time and connect computers with one-touch Wi-Fi protected setup. So like a one-touch setup thing. Now what also makes this unique is that at the time of release, there was absolutely nothing on the market in terms of 450 megabit per second clients. That's uh, been, been remedied now by TrendNet themselves. They have their 450 megabit per second wireless end gaming adapter these days, so that helps a lot. And then, um, yeah, like you can see, you can see when they designed the box, related products, a bunch of 300 megabit per second stuff, so, um, yeah. I mean, I guess there's uh, going to be notebooks with built-in 450 megabit per second, but uh, there was nothing in terms of something you could buy from TrendNet that would work with it, so... I, I thought that was pretty amusing when this first came out, because it was a little while ago, actually. So here, they're talking about the features, security, uh, package contents, which we'll see in a moment. But let's see what they have to say about features and security first. So high speed, advanced WPA2 wireless security. So that's under wireless, and then there's security. Access restriction with internet access control. Here, let's move that so you can read it better. There we go. Uh, advanced firewall protection with network address translation and stateful packet inspection. Ease of use, which is also good. On off, oh, on off wireless switch. That's handy. That's actually that's actually really handy. There are times when you do want to turn off your wireless, or at least I've wanted to do it a couple times, and I it's not always convenient to you know go log into the uh, web based admin. All right, here's all the standards it supports. So as mentioned before, these are gigabit ethernet ports to go along with the 450 megabit per second wireless. So with this device, you can pretty much build the fastest possible home network without getting into some pretty high-end networking gear. Let's move along here, let you guys, you can pause this obviously if you want to read. And uh, I'm not going to say too much unless there's something that really stands out to me as needing to be said. And I don't really see anything like that. So this will work with your old G and B compatible wireless devices, just so that you're aware. So it's backwards compatible, just like any wireless end device. The key difference is the speed. So let's see what we find inside. First we have a user's guide on disk. Then we have a user's guide. Oh no, this is a quick installation guide. Okay, so we've got about three pages of English before you start installing and configuring. All right, so configuring, oh no, I guess it's, oh yeah, no, like like three, four pages. Um, so they show you the very, very basics, uh, which is configuring your wireless and then setting up security on it. Very important stuff. And then obviously you can use the user guide if you want to get a little bit deeper into things. So here we have one ethernet cable. So that'll at least get you connected from your wireless router to your internet modem. And then if you want to wire up any computers, you're going to have to uh, use additional cables. And then we have a power adapter. So this power adapter is rated for 12 volts, 1 amp. So pretty much your run-of-the-mill power adapter. And let's have a look at the router itself. TrendNet's really improved so much on their, um, on their old, like, blue-shelled wireless products. These, uh, these slick black casings really just... Well, they look a lot. They look a lot more professional, a lot more sharp. So here we go. Here's our three antennas. So it does have a three antenna design. So let's have a look at the physical aspects of this router. So remember, this is the TEW691GR, and you can see right here on the front, we've got all of the indicator LEDs that we could pretty much need. There's our security one. There's wireless LAN. There's another one. 
I'm not sure what that one's for. It's not labeled. Only one way to find out later. We have LAN 1234 labeled as well as our WAN port. So that's another LAN port, but really that one goes into your router more than anything else. And then we have a power light. So that means you can network up to four computers and one router for your internet connection, as well as uh, any number of, I mean, I think it's up to something like 200 plus uh, wireless clients, although there's no way you'd want to run that many off. So realistically, you know, you can run anywhere from 10 to 20 computers off this if you're running most of them wireless, which is kind of neat. Here we have some ventilation holes on the side. Here we have some ventilation holes on the other side. There's the WPS. I'm going to put my hand here so that it'll actually focus. There's the WPS one-touch wireless setup. And then let's have a close look at the back. So here, put my hand here so it'll focus. There is our power in. There's the reset switch. There's our power switch. There's that neat wireless LAN on off switch. There is our WAN port. And there are the four LAN ports that I had mentioned before. So I am going to do some performance testing with this guy. And I'm going to be using the, their TEW687 450 megabit per second client in order to find out just how fast we can make this go, just what kind of range it has. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips.